time to go on a little trip. on the way it's gonna be interesting this is gonna be my first subway ride since my last day in the office back on february the 6th here it is a little over five months later and i'm about to jump on and see what this is like well that wasn't too bad reminiscent of me getting up to go to the office though Ugh. that certainly didn't bring uh, any pleasant flashbacks but not too bad i prefer not to take the subway but it's there and now I got to take the bus over to LaGuardia. So let's see how this is going to unfold. But I got plenty of time, which is good. So I got at least another couple hours before the flight takes off. But I got to be there by 9. So I got an hour and 45 minutes. Not bad. It took me an hour and four minutes door to door. So our door to terminal. So now I'm already checked in. Let's just get to the gate. Got some work to do before I take off. And just like that, through security, thank God for TSA, and a breeze, hop, skip, and a jump. And here I am in this giant food court here at LaGuardia. I couldn't even tell you where to go. I just want to get to the gate. Gate's that way. All right. Orlando made it. Thank you, Lord, for getting me here safely. Now I gotta get to the car rental. See how hot it is out here compared to New York, which I know is no comparison, but here we go. It is sunny, it is bright, as you can see. So, first time in Orlando, too, by the way. Never been. Lived in Florida in my high school years. Been down here several times. Obviously Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Gainesville, Tampa, Clearwater, Key West. Been all over Florida, never been to Orlando. First time for everything, right? And another thing, your boy is starving. I had a banana around 7.30, nah, maybe about quarter to eight after I got to the airport. And then like a big dummy, I left my bag behind with a big fat apple as well as some dates and right now it's about 12.05 so your boy's ready to chomp down on something Hotel in the actual airport? It's been a mission just to get to the street leveling, going from terminal to terminal. Now I gotta get to the ground floor B11 to get my shuttle over to the rental car. Man. All right, about to get the car, but before that, file this under, you don't see this every day. So I had to break some change for the driver and and giving me change back to break a 20. What did he do? Gave me a $2 bill. When was the last time you've seen that? Maybe that's a sign of things to come? A little bit of a good luck charm, I guess? Hey, I'll take it. So let's go. It is hot out here. It feels great. Kind of feels like New York. I guess the sun is a little bit stronger in Florida than it is in New York. That's for damn sure. But let's go. Let's get out of here. All right, I'm going to stop in this place here. I don't know if they're gonna have plant-based options, but Pinetta and then what a Ben and Jerry's right next to it, which is ant. Eh. They do have a planet smoothie, which I'm all about, but let's see what this is. Uh, look at the sky, beautiful. All right, not bad. It was uh, a roasted eggplant with garlic and basil marinara. Pretty good. 
So now, before I get to the room, I want to make one stop, check out the supermarket, because I want to pick up some water, and then go to the room, we'll check that out, and then on to the next destination. So it's that type of day on the road. Planes, automobiles, not trains, but that's coming later on. All right, here we go. Check-in time. Stand by, because I got a punch of this code here. Yo. Could the wife and I move in here? Got a pool back. I like it. Let's go upstairs. That's oh, there it is, number two. Oh, this is it. All right. Oh, I got a desk. Can I do my podcast there? Be your own kind of beautiful. No down, there's a TV. All right, YouTube it. Closet. And obviously in here. All right. Oh, a pretty deep bathroom. Y'all got a rain head? Ah, uh, maybe not. <laughs> I must say, not bad. Pretty cool. Let me unpack, settle in, and then I got to head to go see my son. Let's cut these lights here. But I like it. Very nice. All right, now I'm going to check out this clubhouse because although you have that pool in the back, oh, this has to be it right here. Although they have that pool, the thing is because it's part of the home and I guess they don't want anybody in there considering they have a public pool because I'm sure people will probably start drinking and who knows what, depending on what type of characters you get in there. But right now, although there was a car parked in the garage, but I don't know if that's the owner's car or maybe that is somebody else's car. But right now, relatively quiet. But because we can't use that pool in there, we're going to use this one here. Yep, I think this is it. 3901. Peep it. Yeah, this is uh, rather dope. Check it out. I can dig it. And then you got the gym in there, which I want to check out. I want to see if they have a steam room. That's next. All right, here's the gym. All right. Lord knows I could use some weights in my life. And yeah, I don't want to have to worry about the treadmills. The streets of my treadmill. All right. Where's the steam room? Is there a steam room here? No steam room, at least from what I gather. But that's all right. What's behind those doors? I'm sure they're closets that are locked, of course. This is open, and it's a closet. Womp womp. All right, let's get out of here. Let me go visit my son. It's a little bit after four. Yeah. Good to be down here, interesting. Just getting to my son's, I know it's gonna be a little dark here, but it's gonna be the first time I've seen him in almost three and a half years. And uh, I'm not gonna startle him with some video footage right now, but don't worry, you'll get to see him. Oh, next one up. All right, hang on. My daily challenge for the next eight days, I'm going to, including today, going to run 5K. What's 5K? Five kilometers is 3.1 miles. And before the day gets super hot, it is early in the morning at this present moment. And not a lot of people out here, which is great. It's quiet, this little community, which is really nice. I'll do a 360 in a second, but before my day gets going, before I even think about recording, 
especially when it comes to the podcast because it is a Thursday. I got to do that. Busy morning indeed. And for yours truly, the main thing that I want to accomplish over the course of these next eight days is to run at least that much. And 3.1 miles, that's light work. And I'm not bragging or trying to say, oh, no. I should be able to do that no matter what, even if it does get to be suffocating out here. Right now it's warm, but it's certainly not suffocating. So yeah, let's get this going. I got a busy morning, a lot that's gonna take place here. Of course, I got a podcast to record and uh, let me shut up. Let's go out there and get it. Look what I see this morning. All the bunnies. Look at this. All hanging out. Don't walk slow. I come in peace. Say hi, buddy. Just passing by. I went out by the pool area to record my podcast and it actually came out pretty good. Now, mind you, that sun is starting to break. So it's most definitely going to start roasting right now. But thankfully, I was under a tree and had some shade. I actually had a couple of outlets to plug in my equipment. And maybe I'll put a snippet on it here. What is happening, my good people? Greetings. How are you? How's it going? How's everybody doing out there? What? is the latest and greatest just so you guys get an idea so look at that i don't even have to use a thumbnail i could just go ahead and just use that because when people see the background now granted it's close up of trees and things of that nature but at the same time yeah it was not bad at all so listen this is my element it's got to be what 85 86 degrees it's not even 11 a.m and it probably feels warmer than that but pff, man this is summertime this is what it's all about this is what i love this is what i enjoy all right but now i gotta go up edit post do all that good stuff hi who's that who's that hey hey hi 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 can i get a smile can i get a smile oh now you're just staring at me you're wondering what's going on what's happening why you don't wake down yeah no yeah maybe kind of Sort of, no, no, one smile, what a laugh, no, nothing. Come on for grandpa, why not? It's crazy because her and Cam don't look like, don't look anything like my baby picture. I told her, I said, I saw a baby picture of you. She kind of looks like you. Oh yeah? <coughs> Where's the burp? I don't know if my niece could take it anymore. I got old knees. Hey. That was a little one, but we'll take it. Another glorious morning here as the weekend approaches. Yesterday was a quiet day. Obviously it was a thing where I didn't want to just record stuff just to record stuff in order for this vlog, but you got an idea. Spending time with the granddaughter, how beautiful and adorable she is. Today we'll get out, do a few things. But of course, we got to start the day with a run. Now I may spare you the transitions. So this is one run, which I'm gonna go in the opposite direction of what I did yesterday. But if I see something interesting, of course I'll record it. Like our bunny friends yesterday, how cute they were. But uh, yeah, like I said, if I see anything that's worthwhile or worth catching on this 
morning's run, I'll be sure to record it, but let's get it. Ah! Almost a mile and a half into my run, as I'm crossing the street, what happens? My left ankle, which at times gives me problems, I hit a divot, rolled it, and even my foot felt it, not even just the ankle. Ah, so now here I am limping, trying to gut it out. And you know I'm gonna gut out this run anyway, I'm gonna make an about face at some point, but nice groove, trying to cross the street, and you think I'm in New York, I must have hit a pothole or something, and I didn't see it because I'm of course trying to keep my eyes on the traffic. Damn! Ah, uh, here I am trying to get a good streak in. Now, it's not to say it's all going to be in the toilet, but it's just a rolled ankle. Also rolled onto my foot, too, which is weird. Ah, oh, man, I tell you. Why? 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 Let's try to cut this out. I'm going to go a little bit further and turn back. Ugh. Oh. I tell you, let this be a metaphor for life that even when the unexpected comes, you got to deal with it, gut it out, fight. And I'm about to put this in ice, I would think, or at least in a cold tub, who knows? <sighs> All right, here's going to be the true test. Right foot, obviously fine. Pray for me. Oh yeah, that's swollen right there. Oh, it's right by the foot too. The top of the foot. Oh man. There you go. Right there. Swollen. Yo, I hope, I don't know if there's anything broken. Last thing my wife needs to hear. But yeah, when I turned it, I think what happened is that because of all the pressure I put on that, it just blew up. I rolled up on it and oof. Yeah, let's keep fingers crossed. I don't think it's broken. It doesn't feel like it. I mean, I'm able to move it. Does it hurt? Of course it does. But it's not to the point where, yeah, I'm debilitated, but I'm gonna have to ice bath this Cold water for now. I got to see if I can get some ice downstairs. The fridge doesn't even... It's not for the residents here. They have it closed. We do have mini fridges here, if you saw from Wednesday. But, yeah. Time to get this on and popping so I could try to get back out there tomorrow. I was able to run almost a mile and a half and then walk the rest back. So, I did do 5K. It's not a run, but considering the circumstances. Man. I just hope that I can recover pretty quick because I want to get back out there. Here it is, day two and psh, flat tire. I decided to come outside to do some grounding. Just getting my bare feet to the ground, to the earth. Figured that I'd get off it for a little bit. Now, I still haven't iced it. There's no ice, I gotta go out there and get some ice and I'll make sure to ice it at some point, but check this out. There she is. She is so Wolin. I don't think it's anything worse than that. Because you look at the left, the right side, I can't even speak. Right side, yeah, not good. Listen, most definitely could have been worse. I don't think anything is broken. I probably got a bone bruise, but boy, I turned that sucker badly. And that's weird. I know I was crossing the street. I wasn't trying to dodge traffic by any stretch, but it must have just hit a rough spot, or I don't think it was a pothole. But, man, that sucker got the best of me. Now, I'm just hoping that I got to get treatment. I know I got to put some ice on this, but I just hope that within a day or two, once the swelling goes down, 
and maybe some of the pain, I could get back out there. I'm not gonna say just my luck, but mm, damn. Immersed in ice. It's been in there for what, 10 minutes? Let's see how this will do after this all melts. And not only that, hopefully there's nothing wrong with it. I guess we have to find out tonight or tomorrow at the most, but right now, it's frozen. The end of another day. The foot right now still hurts, still swollen, although the ice did some help, but I've been on my feet, off, back and forth. We went out to eat to a pizza place, went to Walmart after that. Probably should have recorded in the pizzeria. I had a uh, vegan sausage pie, which was really good, but that's besides the point. My thing is, is that because me hobbling around and me just trying to keep it together certainly wouldn't make for an interesting vlog or at least an interesting take today. So, but knowing that I'm about to walk into my Airbnb and wondering how this foot's gonna respond tomorrow, you definitely wanna stay tuned because I have a story to tell in reference to this same foot, something that happened to me a few decades ago. So hopefully there won't be a correlation between the two. You just have to wait and hear about it tomorrow morning because the only way I'm gonna find out is how this foot is going to respond after a night's sleep. So with that said, good night. <laughs> See how this uh, foot is going to react. Yeah, it still looks a little swollen. The true test is when I get up and plant it onto the floor. There you go. Here's the difference. Look at the right foot. Yeah, normal. Not too bad. It's actually, and listen, there's still pain there. It's not as if it's gone away, but yeah, I'm able to move laterally. Yeah, I still feel pain and go back. Yeah, yesterday, oof. Now who knows? Going down the stairs is gonna be tricky, which I'll do in a couple of minutes. But yeah, obviously the swelling is there on top of a little bit of pain, but nothing to the extent where, listen, I'm leaning more on that side now, I'm not trying to put too much pressure on it, but yeah. And I'll explain why this is a good sign as opposed to what happened to me 28 years ago. Oof, that was rough. Let's see how this is gonna go. bad not bad now putting these suckers on are going to be a challenge yeah this left one's going to be tricky ah oh yeah all right <clears throat> ah another beautiful day shocker i'll get out to ground on the way back man here's some clouds typical florida but it's spread out I know the sun's behind me, but yeah, doesn't get any better than this. All right, I've walked a couple blocks and uh, it's weird. I have these UFO shoes. These are the shoes that 
give you a lot more support, the flip-flops or sliders, whatever you want to call it, but I got flip-flops in, in this case. And this gives you tremendous support, which it does, but this isn't boating well for my foot. I almost feel like I should probably walk barefoot would be even better. And who knows, I may do that. As I mentioned before, I'm gonna do some grounding. If I have to put a percentage on how the foot is, now listen, I'm grateful that I'm walking. I certainly could be in a lot more pain and who knows what the scenario is if it's just a bad sprain, which fingers crossed. <clears throat> but no, but I'm able to walk a lot better today than yesterday, which is I guess expected. But I'm probably at 40% which I understand that's eh, still not good. It's below average, but considering yesterday, and remember I had to, after running what, almost a mile and a half, I had to walk the last 1.7 miles to try to get to 5K. So the only thing I'm gonna say here is that 40%, try to stay off my feet for a while. Later on, I'm meeting up with, of course, my son, but my grandson, you'll get to see him, we're gonna have a day at the pool. So obviously there's gonna be a lot more activity than the last couple of days. So that's at least one good thing because generally we've just been indoors and obviously going to Walmart and maybe out to get some pizza certainly isn't the most uh, exciting content, but today should be fun as I get to reunite and reconnect with my grandson who I haven't seen now and almost to the day, two years. So, that should be great. And then obviously with baby Adi, oh, somebody's running. Oh, you got it. Got to give it up to those who are running out there today. Huh. I should have already put in my three point one miles at least if it wasn't for my stupidity, but yeah, should be a fun day. See how this ankle is going to respond or really this foot is going to respond. But uh, I have a very interesting story and why me be walking like this and being able to at least, <clears throat> excuse me, put pressure on my foot is a plus. 28 years ago, I broke my fifth metatarsal, which is the bone that leads up to the pinky toe. And it was stupid accident. I was actually going downstairs in my old apartment building and wanting to, or craving a late night snack. So of course I missed the step and I hit the floor and little did I know that I ended up breaking it. It was just a hairline fracture. It wasn't anything too severe to the point where I needed surgery. But the crazy thing is, is that I went to the doctor, had to get fitted for a cast. They said it was going to be two weeks because it was a hairline fracture. But after those two weeks, they said, no, it's gonna be another four weeks. So I had to be on crutches for six weeks. This was February of 96. And ooh, I was just despondent. But here's the reason why this is the positive because when that happened, that was on a Sunday night in late February. The next morning when I got up from out from my bed, when I turned and put my feet to the floor, similar to a little while ago, what happened? I couldn't even put pressure on it. I already felt I know electricity isn't the right word, but I just felt everything like go through that foot as if my foot was telling me, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, and I didn't. So because of that, that's when I had to go to the doctor and I found out that I was going to be on a cast or in a cast for two weeks, then six weeks, and the rest is history. Whereas right now, obviously I'm able to walk on it, and even though it looks still swollen and who knows again fingers crossed hopefully there aren't any hairline fractures or anything that serious obviously i did not run this morning and i'm not going to run and i won't run i'm hoping as early as tuesday once i get down to miami and maybe tuesday morning i'll go ahead and see how it feels at that point but right now i'd have to say on the high end, it's 40%. Maybe on the low end, 30%. So, but I do have to get out and walk it out because uh, as much rest as I need just to kind of keep it elevated and keep it up, etc. And this is after a bad night's sleep, by the way. Um, yeah, I do have to get out and exercise and get it together. So, all right, I'm gonna head over to the pool. 
we'll see what that's like. I'm not going to go for a swim. Maybe I'll put my feet in there. Who knows? Maybe I will go for a swim. We'll see. But that's what I got for right now. So keep your fingers crossed, people. It is 10.30 and look at this. I got the whole pool to myself. There is nobody here. Are they taking it for granted? Are they going to Disney? Or are they going to Universal? Who knows, but yeah, it's surprised. In fact, right over there is where I hosted my podcast a couple days ago. And I know by the time this goes up, those topics and sports news, that will already be a thing of the past. But if you want to go back and check it out, just to even watch the first few minutes, just to get an idea, get a sense of what it was like to record outdoors as I went ahead and just enjoyed sitting out here. And even if you hear the AC units or the construction or planes flying over, it was fun. And I'm looking forward to doing it again on Monday, which again, by the time this posts, That'll already come and go. There's also a trail back there. There's people actually biking and I saw a guy running. Why couldn't I have gone there yesterday? More peaceful. Who knows with this little, I don't know if you want to call that a lake. I don't know if you can see that. Should have a bunch of alligators hanging out in there, but yeah. Now I understand I could have turned my ankle anywhere and or in this case, turned my ankle and sprained my foot or whatever, but man. Where was that? I can't front. I did see it when I was recording the podcast after my run on Thursday, but oh, uh, what can I tell you? All right, I'm heading back to the room. Out and about, gotta get some gas first before I head up to Orlando. I'm currently in Kissimmee, about 45 minutes away. Can you believe that? I didn't realize that I was gonna be so far south from where my son lives, but yep, that is the deal. Whoop, let's hit it. It's good to be out. The weather's been phenomenal. 92 degrees right now, it has not rained as of yet, knock on wood. And um, yeah, just be grateful. And even if it was raining, you know, hey, so be it. But I am, like I said, just be grateful to be here, to be in the Sunshine State, Florida sun. Obviously this is the first stop of my trip. And uh, what's up with these pumps here? Ah, long ride. This is what happens when your foot is idle. Now it feels like Kind of was yesterday, but that's with the flip-flop on. If I was able to walk just to my bare feet, it'd be a different story, so. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, I tell you. All right, up the stairs we go. Something? No, I'm just tired. Were you sleeping? Oh, yeah? Oh, somebody's asleep. Uh, she was. Oh, yeah? Hey. Oh, look who's awake. Look at you. Hi. Hi. And then, look at this kid. What's up, buddy? What's up? How are you? Good. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. What you doing? What you playing? Roblox. Roblox? Look at your hair. I'm trying to be like you before. I'm growing my hair out, although it's cold now. It's not bad. It's been hot. Just like it is down here. Oh, yeah. Well, here is, forget it. It's too, too hot. So I'm being set up here by Little Man to be a part of this ultimate football video game on a controller that you need a four year college degree for someone like myself. 
Ain't that right? Heading to the supermarket to pick up a couple of things to make for dinner. Uh, we didn't do the pool. We actually walked by it earlier, but that sun was blazing, even at four o'clock. Right now it's 6.30. And yes, I understand people say, well, if the sun was blazing, how come you didn't jump in? I don't have any sunscreen, and the last thing I need to do is get burnt, even on a Saturday afternoon at 4 p.m. So we were upstairs playing this football video game, which is far from Madden, that's for damn sure. But that's, it's all good. Uh, but more on that later, as I take a trip to the supermarket. Yeah, foot, it's crazy. If I'm barefoot, it's a little bit better. With these UFOs, man, I, I'm hobbling. I feel like I, I'm a pirate with a peg leg or something. And not that I know what that's like, but you get my drift. All right, let's go. Another long day as I sit here in the car, ready to go in to call it a night. With tomorrow being my final full day here in Orlando, Kissimmee. And today didn't go like I thought, but the bottom line was just being present and in the moment with my son and my grandchildren, both of them. Cameron is, I tell you, that kid is getting more handsome by the second. And you'll see a little bit more of him tomorrow considering that it was hot and he was a little bit fidgety and all he wants to do is play video games. But I guess when you're nine, that's what you want to do, especially in this day and age, 2024. But another day comes tomorrow. I'm ready to crash. I got to do something with this foot. I'm not wearing these UFOs tomorrow because it's just killing my feet. But um, yes, one more day before I bid adieu. And not only that, but I also have something else on the brain, which I'll share tomorrow which happens to be for something that could transpire tomorrow night. Hopefully it doesn't in one regard with all that's happened here in the last 24 hours with the Microsoft and the flights being canceled and technology. I tell you, they couldn't rectify this within a 24 hour time frame. And I understand they have to cover their asses when it comes to what happened there. What was it? How many flights? 20, 1,200? Whatever it was. Canceled or rescheduled or whatever. Uh, I tell you. All we got to do is just, like I say all the time, try to just stay in the moment, not look too far ahead, and certainly not look behind. And tomorrow, like my mom always says, is another day. And with that being said, good night. Maybe it wasn't smart pushing off my. Uh, maybe it wasn't smart pushing off my left foot, huh? Uh. I wish I could start every morning off like this with a run as well. Ah. All right, off to be with the son, grandchildren, Yanira, final full day. Actually gonna meet the in-laws of uh, my son gonna meet her brother her mother father so it's a family get-together day should be nice looking forward to it I wonder uh, how this will uh, all unfold and go I'm sure it's gonna be smooth but uh, Lord knows if there's gonna be any food I'm sure it's not gonna be of the plant-based variety so uh, that should be intriguing to say the least but uh, nevertheless cloudy day this is like the first real cloudy day I know it's been sunny for the most part, you know, typical Florida, even though it's sunny, but there's still a ton of clouds, but a lot of the sunshine is peeking through, but 
Yeah, today it's uh, mostly cloudy, but still, if there's no rain, it's all good. Let's go see who's that. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Huh? Who's that? Close up. Show me that. Thank you. How about one more? One more smile. One more. Huh. Your daddy's coming. I forgot the darn garbage. Oh, that's right, from earlier. Yeah? Daddy's got the garbage. I can take it out. <coughs> I mean, it's two bags. I know. You're probably wondering, what are we doing? Another day where I don't include what was happening during my sojourn in Orlando. Reason being is because by the time I got to my son's apartment, we were actually going to his lovely lady's family's house where everybody was getting together for her father and her grandmother's birthday. So I wasn't going to record with people who I'm meeting for the very first time to be a part of this vlog. And I understand that that takes out and extracts a lot of the trip or at least to detail, you know, what has gone on. Cause you could say, well, Jay Reels, what's the point of this vlog if you're not gonna show some of those things? Well, ha, huh, this is where you have to wait for part two because trust me, part two is gonna be a whole hell of a lot different than this one. But just to recap these last few days, it's tremendous to reconnect with family, to meet a side of the family that I've never met, of course, with Andre's significant other and her family. And they were tremendous, they were wonderful, very heartwarming, welcoming. And um, yeah, I couldn't ask for a better time. Wonderful family, as I mentioned to Yanira, and um, to get to see not only my son, but also my grandkids, my granddaughter for the first time, which is just mind blowing to think. But I get it. It hasn't been exciting. My foot is getting a little bit better. I wore my sneakers today as opposed to the flip flops, which certainly helped, but it's getting there. It's still a little black and blue. A lot of the swelling is down, but am I gonna be able to run at any point between now and <laughs> Thursday? Chances are probably not. Ah, uh, I tell you, I don't even know what to say about that because here I was just thinking I was going to have it all mapped out. Eight straight days, challenge, killing it, would have had at least 16 miles in the books by now. And that is all but a distant memory. So tomorrow is going to be a crazy day, a busy day, a hectic day, and it starts off early tomorrow morning. So you may want to fasten your seatbelts to see the quick turn that this vlog is going to take considering that we're in the very first part. And although it may not have been as entertaining or even as engaging with you the way a vlog normally would be, but that will change, I promise you. And it all starts tomorrow in about six and a half hours as we're getting close to midnight. So like I said, fasten your seatbelts. It's gonna be a wild ride. We've got planes, we've got automobiles, and tomorrow we got trains. So just think about that. Get ready to sign off people as Orlando will be in my review mirror come 2 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. But until then, hopefully a few hours sleep, a podcast early in the morning, pack, Get out of here at 11. Oh yeah, and that's just the beginning, so. All right, 7.30, time to get out to the pool area. If you watched the podcast the other day, I was sitting out in front of the palm trees and the beautiful background, recording my first ever podcast outdoors. I'm gonna go back to that same Locale today, I'm packing all my stuff up. These next three and a half hours are going to be a whirlwind as I not only need to record this podcast, but also come back to edit, post, try to post it online as much as I can before I shower, finish packing, which I have down here. Finish packing. I don't know if you're able to see that, but 
Yes, it is going to be a crazy, not only morning, but just day overall. I got to return the car rental. I have to get a shuttle to the airport where the train is going to take me to Miami. And on top of that, I want to get something to eat. I certainly don't want to buy anything at the airport slash train station. So yeah, these next, I don't know, five and a half, six hours are going to be in a blender. So let me get cracking. I got a lot to do here and uh, yeah, this should be fun. Done with the pod. Oh, a little bit of disaster. I don't know what happened, but I guess the heat or humidity got to the camera. So the podcast from the video portion, I only got about 40 minutes of it. That didn't happen the other day when I recorded my podcast, but today I decided to say, oh no, we're not going to record the full thing. So that was number one. Huh. And number two, to make matters even worse, I packed my microphone and I put it in the case. You know, it has the soft casing. And I put it on the chair. So now as I'm getting my bag to start walking over to the room so I can start editing, as it's currently 9 a.m. And I got two hours to not only edit, post, shower, pack, etc. What happens? The microphone hits the concrete. So now I got to worry about my microphone because remember, I still have a podcast to do on Thursday. And if that microphone has any hissing or any type of weird noise coming out of the microphone, uh, I tell you, man, I am just a klutz. I am just a mess. Here I am hobbling along here. Here I am just trying to be productive, just trying to do my thing, just trying to not bother anybody, not try to get in anyone's business, make sure that, you know, my chakras are aligned, that... You know, my karma, everything, etc. And what happens? Oh, bad wheel on my foot, which is still, I think I said that earlier, right? That's where my brain is at because now I'm on 100 just trying to get back to just do all I need to do here over the course of these next couple hours. So, yeah. Now it's go time. I finished the podcast. I had a couple of mishaps, which I'll get into later on, but I literally have 14 minutes to finish packing here, over there, my toiletries, shower. I gotta do all this in a matter of 14 minutes. So yes, I'm up against the clock, stand by. Ah, 15 minutes late. I tell you. A little chaotic there toward the end. I thought I lost my cap, which I didn't think I did, but I had to go back to the pool to make sure that it didn't fall to the side or was anywhere around in the pool area. And then I had an issue with the editing part where the software crashed 20 minutes into I was 
editing. So I had a couple of delays in trying to get me out of here. So if I take the six minutes going to the pool area and back, as well as having to start up the editing software and populate all the audio tracks to get the podcast set, it is now up. Not that it matters because by the time you watch this, the podcast already be days in. But my point is, is that I would have been out of here on time if it wasn't for those two things. Next up, I got to bring the car back, obviously, but even more so, I want to see if I can get some food because the last thing I want to do is purchase food, whether it's in the airport or in the train station, because I know I got to get to the airport where the train station is within the airport or whatever. And I have time. The train departs Orlando to Miami at 1.50 p.m., 1.50. So by the time I, and I also have to get gas, I got to fill the tank. So yeah, the whirlwind continues. So now that I've caught you up to date, and as I mentioned from yesterday, I know this hasn't been thrilling. I know this hasn't been the most intriguing, despite the fact that my foot has been a story and then now just trying to get everything together, but... I can exhale a little bit, but now it's time to ratchet it up as I head back to the city limits of Orlando and leaving Kissimmee, which is at least this part of town, actually pretty nice. So, all right, let's do this. Let's go on to the next. All right, so I made it to the train terminal. Yo, my foot is Jekyll and Hyde. One second, it feels good. Yeah, I feel a little bit of pain, everything's all right. And now, this sucker's barking. I know something's wrong with this foot, and I can't believe it. How could someone go on a run and literally possibly have a broken foot? I mean, only me. I don't wanna say it like that, but, uh, I mean, I tell you. Anyway, let's move on from that. Um, this is one of the most quietest, but very beautiful train stations. But my thing is, I hope they have food because there was nothing around this airport area where I could pick up other than fast food and you know I ain't going there. So now I gotta figure out where the platform is for the train to head to Miami. It could be this way, maybe. But I wanna know if there's food. So let's find out. No surprise, here are your food options. I do have a mixed green salad. This and this. Roasted vegetable quinoa bowl, but nah, it's not gonna. And what's that gonna cost me? 20 bucks. This is it, Junk Food Central, the American way. So guess what it's gonna be? I have a, yeah, an hour and 10 minutes. I guess it's gonna be this for lunch. Alright, about to board here. Hopefully this goes smooth. It should. Can't see why or why it wouldn't. But uh gotta settle in, finish some work. And just like that, I'm on my way to MIA. Of course, gotta keep it low with this loud voice of mine. But uh looking forward to it. Part one of this trip now has been closed and certainly ready, willing to embrace what part two has in store. So I'm looking forward.